And the answer is if you've got a UK-based trust and you're running in accordance with the UK law, the answer is yes, well, you would, because there's no tax event that captures the exercise of that power in the UK. The difference, and this is where Oswell's case comes in so starkly, the difference in Australia is that there is a tax event, and that tax event is capital gains tax event E1. And what that tax event does is says that if you go and effectively create or declare a completely new trust, even if it's within the parameters of the original trust instrument, and even if the trust instrument had that power to begin with, that will still be clearly caught by CUT event E1, 